<laughs> just, just for 30 seconds to be awake though, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, it's a chilly one. Yeah, I'd like to wear them and I'd wait to open that. So, good start. We got lost Matt, man. after 100 yards. Ah, we never lost. We just, we never lost. That's just it. We're just wandering. We're on the all trails again. Yeah, we spoke about before and we're on it again. This is the uh, Burrington Mendip Loop Circle. Burrington and Mendip Circle is a geographical feature located in the Mendip Hills, a range of limestone hills in Somerset, England. The Burrington Ham is a popular spot for walkers and hikers, and the Mendip Circle is a long distance footpath that runs for in total approximately 50 miles around the perimeter of the Mendip Hills. The route takes in a variety of landscapes from wooded valleys to open hilltops and passes through numerous picturesque villages and historic sites. The Mendip Circle is a challenging walk, but it rewards hikers with stunning views of the surrounding countryside and an opportunity to explore the rich cultural and natural heritage of the Mendip Hills. <laughs> Where's the circle, isn't it? <laughs> it depends which way you go on the circle. Yeah, I know. We're all done. Twelve point nine kilometres, apparently. Swan up Rover. Not for a while. <laughs> what happened next? Part two. No, we were to play part two. like Cosimodo walking through here. Beautiful walk. Very strange building. <laughs> Our nuclear bunker. Jace, oh. look at that one there though. That's me. figure out how old this, uh, these uh, building bits are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very warm. Shaped by history. Just checking. We went, point we went all the way down and now we're going right the way back up again. We started halfway up, 
systematically went all the way back down the bottom to the road. This will test your fitness and your cardio. They feel my love it. <laughs> <laughs> we would love it. I'm only a third of the way around right this side. <laughs> you wanted to go get those, those gloves, put them on that tree. <laughs> the lesser so spotted. Here we are, we're up on the Mendips, and uh, this is the very, very rare glove tree. We've been searching for this one for a long time and we're delighted to find this one. And it's fruiting as well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, it looks like it's <laughs> going to go When you touched it, it went up like that. Hello. <laughs> Coffees for everybody. Courtesy of Mr. Smith down there somewhere. It's Baltic. 
just on the phone to my uh, just on the phone to my um, solicitor. <laughs> Where there's a blame, there's a claim. Where there's a blame, there's a claim. Someone's drone. Someone took my thumb off. Easy. Tried to catch the drone. <laughs> yeah. He did catch it in the end, but cut his finger at the same time. As, well. <laughs> as all drone pilots are tell you, we've all done it. So, ah, you put, you put your hands up. How many, how many drones you got? Five. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, his missus was up for the fun. But she was not saying, can they all want a bit of tub? Runners? Fell runners. <laughs> morning guys. Morning. morning, morning Long morning. one. Let's see you around here. Yeah, yeah. Nice fast. Oh, we can make one more. What's it say? Take you through a long way. Yeah. Well, you're probably all done it. I just don't know how it stays together. Time, my heart keeps there. It's not just acting on the train, you know. You wouldn't realise that. You do it from. Yeah, yeah. It's a three man. It's a three man. And it's your number yet, or you've got it? Have a good one, guys. Just leave it easy. They're doing a 40, the, the green man, which is 47 miles. 46 miles, so 46 5 miles. miles, 5 points of miles an hour. So they're running sub 11 minute miles. Well, 11 minute mile, about 11 minute miles. That's it's, mad. It's cross terrain as well. Yeah. That is cool, though. Yeah, what are the chances of that? Barrington Coombe is also a popular spot for cathering enthusiasts, with several caves located within the limestone gorge. Goat Church Cavern is a large cave system that is over two miles long, with a variety of chambers and passages to explore. The cave is known for its impressive formations, including stalactites, stalagmites and flowstone, as well as its underground streams and pools. There are other caves in the area which include Sidcot Swallet, which is located near the bottom of the gorge and has several entrances and Rod's Pot, which is a smaller cave system that is popular with experienced cavers. And then in there there's an actual sign that says Cheddar Gorge, you know, Cheddar two and a half miles away, <laughs> and you're in a sump, in a little <laughs> micro cave horrible. at the bottom of the pothole. It's, it's horrible, it really is horrible. And you've got the leap of faith, so you jump off one pitch black. Did you really come in this way last week? This was full up the peak. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? You jump off the leap of faith and it's Don't a slip. flat game and you're jumping down into a water sump you're in the water and then you get out and then you carry on going down and down and down That's down at Swildon's caves are pretty and it is grim I've got to say I didn't enjoy it one bit Morning, mind the grid. We got the day. 
Steak, my <laughs> 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 you come up here in the summer and you get a strong smell of cannabis and you know that's what they're... Um, no, no, yeah, the, um, he's, he's just, he did the mighty boosh, you've got to watch it, old Greg it's called, and the bloke's fishing on this lake and um, he catches something and he pulls it out and it's the bloke. And he goes, hi, I'm old Greg. He goes, what you doing in my waters, cupcake? And he's like, oh, just, just you know, admiring the um, sunlight, you know, the moonlight. He goes, are you sure you're not fishing in my waters? He said, because I've got the mighty cup in my face. He goes, he goes, no, no. He said, no, I'm just enjoying the moonlight. He goes, you wouldn't be lying to me now, would you? Anyway, next thing. Morning. Garden Centre and Cafe is a popular garden centre and cafe located in Banwell, a village in North Somerset. In addition to the garden centre, there is an also a cafe on site that serves a variety of food and drinks, including breakfast, lunch and afternoon tea. Cafe is well known for its homemade cakes, scones and as well as its locally sourced ingredients and friendly atmosphere. The smell of the bacon. Oh, 